Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today. My name is Paige, and I am the Vertical Marketing Manager over the Veterinary Vertical here at Weave. We are so excited to be bringing you this webinar today. We're going to be talking about 2023 trends, insights from our Veterinary Business Insights Report. We know there's been a lot of changes to the industry over the past year, and we're here to share some of those inf insights from a survey that we recently ran, as well as some strategies to overcome some of those challenges, particularly in the new year. Um, a few quick housekeeping items. Any questions you may have, feel free to submit them in the chat or in that Q&A dropdown, and I'll go through and answer those at the end. And if you're interested in seeing a demo of Weave, feel free to click on that Request Weave Demo button at the top of your screen. Um, we also have a promotion going on right now. So if you see a demo through the end of the month, you will get a $50 Starbucks gift card. So feel free to click on that button. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So like I mentioned, we've commissioned a nationwide survey of veterinary clients and providers in November 2022 to understand the challenges, trends, and opportunities facing small veterinary practices in 2023 and beyond. And during the course of this presentation, I'll be discussing the current state of veterinary practices, um, some key trends, so specifically how clients are raising the bar, staffing challenges, and how software investment is critical, as well as how to stay ahead and adapting to these trends in 2023 to stay ahead of the curve. So the first one we're gonna talk about is just kind of the current state of veterinary practices and where we are now. So where have we been? I'm sure you guys have heard this by now, but post COVID small healthcare practices began to feel stretched by patient expectations but also saw a rebound in practice growth. So we saw this a lot with vet, specifically post COVID, a lot of people getting new pets. Um, so those patient expectations or client expectations were growing, but they were also, you guys were also seeing more clients and more pets than ever before. So a lot of demand. Um, some other stats to share here. In 2021, small healthcare practices were nearly seven times more likely to say that COVID-19 had improved the quality of care than to say it has gotten worse. The veterinary industry specifically has become increasingly more competitive in the last five years, and the industry is serving more pets than ever before. And like I said, a lot of that's due to covid and then additionally, we have the current state of the economy to factor in as well. So even though there will always be a need for veterinary services in the market, pet parents may consider delaying care to cost in tough economic times. 34% of veterinary providers are opting not to invest in their practice right now due to the economy. So I'm sure you guys have seen that before. You know, when times get tough, a lot of um, clients might say, you know what, I can't pay for my pet right now to get surgery or to get that test that needs to get run. And so it can be a little bit scary for practice owners to think about investing in their practice when they're not sure, you know, if client needs and if the busyness is going to stay up through, you know, this economy. So how to adapt. Number one, focus on loyalty. 78% of patients haven't switched providers in the last year. That's a lot. Um, so this is the area where you make the most of your revenue. So consider implementing something like a loyalty program to keep your best clients coming back and referring others. Overall client experience. Post-COVID client expectations are high. So focus on providing a great experience and don't let this slip through the cracks. So during COVID, you guys probably upped a lot of your client protocols and the way you did things to account for COVID. And now those expectations have just kind of remained. People expect that level of care, even though COVID's not around really anymore. Um, so try to focus on creating a really great experience to keep your clients coming back. And then number three, modernize your practice operations to stay ahead of the curve. So you can do this through a couple ways. Number one, payment plans. So even though many clients delay veterinary care in tough economic times, our survey found that 28% of providers saw an increase in clients who used a payment plan. So offering a way to pay over time can help clients who might not have, you know, a great financial backing, the ability to get care for their pet and then pay over the course of the next six months or so. 
And then number two, gather feedback. Automate reviews to keep your practice visible and to benchmark and train staff. So this is just important um, to keep, you know, learning what your clients think about your practice and make sure that you're always taking into account feedback and making it better. Okay, so that's kind of where we currently are. So now we're going to go through the trends that we found in this survey. So number one, like I mentioned, clients are raising the bar for small practices. So why? Why do they have higher expectations? Why now? Um, well, there's two main reasons. Number one, like we kind of talked about the pandemic. So in our survey, we found that 74% of providers think patient expectations have increased since the pandemic because of the extra measures and personal touches that vets implemented during the pandemic. Think things like curbside care and things like that. This level of care has now become the, just an expectation for all pet parents. And then convenience economy. So this term kind of comes from the idea of, you know, being able to get anything on your doorstep at any time with a quick Amazon search, um, being able to pick up things from your favorite retail store, like drive up through Target or something like that. And then, like I mentioned, even curbside services for veterinary care has all created this convenience economy. Veterinary practices are keeping up with the increasing client demand for convenience, but will need to continue to modernize and adopt new technology as that trend shows no sign of stopping. So how to del deliver enhanced client experience to match their expectations? Number one, build patient relationships. It starts in the waiting room by focusing on your front office but can also be done by implementing things like loyalty programs for your clients, which I mentioned before. Value your employees. This might seem a little bit backwards because we're talking about how to enhance client experience, but having happy employees will allow them to provide better care and communication to your clients, so it will lead to happier clients. Make scheduling easy. Scheduling is crucial for your practice. It helps you greatly increase the convenience and satisfaction of your clients. Easy communication. Focus on positive communication in office, but also communication like texting um, and other easy ways of communication when your clients are not in your practice. And then solicit feedback. Send ongoing surveys to your clients to get feedback on what is working well and not, and then remember to actually implement that into your practice. On to our second trend, which is staffing challenges show no signs of letting up, which is, I'm sure, something that you guys have all heard about or potentially are actually experiencing. So during the pandemic, it is estimated that one in five households in America adopted at least one pet. So there's a lot more pets and a lot more care that needs to happen. And also, at the same time that this is happening, vet professional numbers are dwindling due to a couple reasons burnout. So short staffed clinics and client demands have led to increased employee burnout and people leaving the industry for um, easier types of jobs. Age. In 2018, the U.S. population of veterinarians who were 65 years or older was a 30 percent increase from the early 2000s. So people are simply aging out of the industry and are retiring. And then education. Cost of education acceptance rate into school, expanded career path options in other industries have all led to vet professional numbers dwindling while pet care needs are increasing at the same time. So with higher demand and lower industry professionals, current staff members are feeling the heat, which is leading to shop staffing shortages. And I'm hopeful you guys aren't dealing with that right now, but it is something that's present. And um, I know a lot of owners and practice managers are dealing with right now. One way to deal with this is by taking advantage of technology. So make your staff members' jobs easier with software that automates mundane tasks and lets them focus on work that matters and things they actually care about. A lot of people in this industry are here because they love pets. But if they are, you know, spending eight hours a day sitting behind a phone making reminder calls, they aren't going to love their job very much and they might end up leaving. So instead of your staff's spending a few hours each day to do manual reminder calls or things like that, try something like text reminders. Um, so this example on the right here, this GIF, you know, might be an example of something that your office can automatically spend 
or send, and it would save hours for those employees, but it would also make them a lot happier and keep them around and give them other things to do. So hopefully it would help with that issue of staffing shortage as well. Um, in addition, in our survey, we found that 65% said that having the latest tech makes it easier to retain good employees. So there's a huge added benefit to that as well. Okay, our last trend here is that software investment is critical. So although 40% of vet providers say that it is extremely important or very important to have the right technology to provide a great client patient experience and increase revenue, 62% of offices haven't updated their office technology in over two years. So there's a lot of different reasons for this, but it's something that veterinary professionals really need to focus on in order to make a difference, keep their clients happy, keep their staff happy, um, and remain competitive in 2023. From the survey we conducted, here are the results of top office pain points. Um, so when we asked what are the top pain points in your office, here were the responses. 78% said demanding clients. 3% said insurance claims, 2% said billing issues, 13% said client intake forms, and 4% said reviews and social media. So all of these, four out of five actually, are linked to office technology. So just updating office technology could help with demanding clients, could help with insurance claims, billing issues, client intake forms, and reviews and social media. It could help all of those things. So really important. In the last year, less than 3% of offices have cut back on office software or technology, pointing to the impact high ROI software like patient communication platforms has on their client experience. So even though close to 70% haven't upgraded, those who have only 3% have cut back. So it's, they're very happy with the service they're getting. And it's something that's really helping in their um, productivity, their efficiency, their communications. Um, so here are just a few of the solutions that we can offer. There's a lot of other companies out there that can offer this too, but it's definitely something that you should consider. So a texting tool that streamlines scheduling and speeds up communications, a modern phone system that reduces call volumes and wait times, and a payments platform that can help you get paid faster no matter where the customer is. So investing in tech like this that helps you stay relevant with what other businesses are doing right now and, um, you know, just stay competitive is really going to help you in this landscape. So how to stay ahead, how providers are adapting in 2023. Adapting in 2023 means looking toward the future when the patient experience at the forefront. Nobody knows your clients your pet patients and your team better than you. So take some time and think about what your people really want. If it's a better way to communicate, there are tools available for that. If your patients need a better way to make payments or schedule appointments, there are also tools available for that purpose as well. Weave brings together a phone system and a suite of communication tools so it's easy to automate more tasks, manage high call volume, get paid faster, ease hectic staff schedules and more. So you can kind of do all of those things on one. You can get rid of your phone bill. Um, and it's great because you can help your staff simplify, save time, be happier, but also communicate better with your clients and allow them to get better care for pets, which is why we're all here. Um, so we got all of this data and these findings out of this ebook. So it shares all the survey results that we took in November of last year, and it's completely free to download. So it's this 2023 Veterinary Business Insights Report. Um, if you go to getweave.com slash ebooks, you can download it. Again, it's totally free. Um, and if you're interested in seeing a demo of Weave, again, you can click that blue button at the top of your screen, or you can go to getweave.com slash demo, um, and you can get that gift card I mentioned at the beginning of our presentation, um, and just learn more about how Weave can help your office. Okay, it is time for Q&A. Let's see if we have any questions in the chat. Okay, first question here. 
You mentioned implementing a loyalty program to adapt to new client trends. What would something like that look like? Okay, so there's a variety of ways that you could implement a loyalty program into your practice. Um, it could be as simple as sending like an email or a text on the anniversary of one of your pets, um, clients being a part of your practice. So like when they've been with your practice for a year or two years, you send like a quick email or text and say, you know, it's your one year anniversary. Thank you so much for being a valued client of ours. Um, you could even do it on their birthday. Um, if you wanted to add like some type of special offer to do that, you definitely could. So even if it's, you know, a $5 Starbucks gift card, something super small can go a long way there too. Um, another way you could do this is with some type of like loyalty referral program um, where like your loyal clients would get a discount or a special gift for referring a new client or a number of clients to your practice. So if they refer one, they get it. Or if they refer three, they get it. Something like that, whatever works best for your business model. Um, having loyal clients out in the world talking about you is I'm sure a lot of you guys here, like that's where you're getting a lot of your marketing from is just word of mouth, but it's one of the best marketing tools you can do for your business. So um, just having some type of loyalty program is really important. It also keeps your current clients happy. They feel valued when they bring someone to you and it keeps them satisfied and they, they want to grow with you. They want to stay with you as long as possible. So those are a couple examples of how you could implement a loyalty program into your practice. Okay, let's see if there's any other questions. Okay, how can your two-way texting tool streamline scheduling like you mentioned earlier? Yeah, so texting is usually a favorite feature of our vet practices. I know that busy phone lines are definitely something you guys are dealing with all the time. So this would allow clients to text directly to your office phone number from wherever you are. Um, you can easily discuss things like scheduling through text um, and in response to using texting specifically for scheduling, you can quickly message like multiple waitlist patients. So if people are trying to get in, you don't have enough time on the schedule, you can put them on a waitlist. And then if someone cancels and you have an opening, you can send a quick message to all those people on your waitlist um, at one time. So there's just things you can do with like texting to help keep your schedule full. You can do texting reminders like we talked about. What's really cool that I know vets really love about our texting is the ability to send picture messages. So if you just got done with like a surgery or something like that, you can actually send a photo of the pet to your, to your client, which I know in this industry is always welcome. People love to see that kind of thing. So it just helps you kind of deliver that like added layer of client care um, that you may not have been able to just through the phone. Okay. Last call for questions. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any other questions. Just a reminder that you can download this full ebook on our website. Go to weave.getweave.com slash ebooks and you'll find it there. There's a few different industry ones. So just make sure you grab the veterinary business insights report one. You can find all this information about this survey we ran, but a lot of great interesting facts and some tools about how to keep your business um, competitive in 2023. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Um, we'll send out a recording of this webinar. So if you wanna share it with anyone in your office or anything like that, you can definitely do that. Thank you guys so much for being here and we will see you on the next one.